Hi, it's Nardwar, the human serviette at Sonido de Valle in Boyle Heights, about to interview Pink Pantheris. Who are you? I'm Pink Pantheress. Right off the bat, Pink Pantheress, I would like to give you a gift. You are the Pink Pantheress, so I thought it was natural. And here, I would give you this record, Pink Panther. S. What is it called? <laughs> I don't know. Punk. Pink Panther Punk. Punk. For the Pink Pantheress. Yeah, thank you. And it has the song, It's Punk on it. Oh, really? Yeah possible have you listened to this yeah it's amazing it'd be a great sample what do you think about sampling pink panther punk and it's punk i usually just go on youtube and scour the internet for them that's how i found my samples and today some pink panther punk <laughs> or pink panther s <laughs> colin the caterpillar cake m s yes Please explain. Could you explain for people that don't know? Like, I'm from Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. You're from the UK, where the caterpillar... Collins. And um, I would say that Colin the caterpillar is like a staple birthday cake. Canterbury River Tours. Yes! I've been on, on, on it, like, I've been on a few of those. I love the castles and tunnels in England. Mm. What do you think about the castles and tunnels? I love that. I like the castles because I'm really interested in <clears throat> medieval like mythology and stuff like that. Me and my best friend are obsessed with it. I keep mentioning her. At 6 p.m. on television. It's the Simpsons. The Simpsons. And I have a gift for you right here. Some Simpsons original cards. Oh, my God. From 1990. Yeah, wow. What can you say? 6 p.m. The Simpsons. Mm, what? I don't think there's any gum. Okay. I was... Kind of disappointed there was no gum. Why did you think there might be gum? Because sometimes they include gum. And you know what else? Do you know why else you thought that? Because you read the D and then you read the ummy and you thought of gum. Ba boom. There you go. But 6 p.m. The Simpsons, that's important for Pink Pantheris, isn't it? It was important. <laughs> Could you explain? Because uh, every time I'd come back from school, it would be playing and then it would be a show called Hollyoaks afterwards. But then I, at that point, I'd gone to bed. Maz. Oh my god, Marianne. Yes, Maz, Marianne. Cash. Yeah, oh, fuck off. <laughs> yeah. Y you worked on that song early, early, yeah, Pink Pantherist. Yeah, that was early. Yeah, that was like, yeah, that wasn't even Pink. That was me before Pink. That was Blue Pantherist. Retrograde, the mixtape. Yes. Yes. Which, <laughs> What was that era like? Why is that an era? Yes, you know what? That was not like, I wouldn't say that was my finest work and I'm a perfectionist. So what I put out there, I try and make as perfect as possible. Anna Palmer. Yo, I feel sick. I really feel sick. <laughs> yeah. This is my friend from Canterbury. Oh Ethan. God. Yeah? Uh, Ethan Harvey. Oh yeah, oh my God. You know what, that's, Okay, so he's someone when I was, oh my God. When we when I started making music, I was like really like, I didn't, couldn't produce for myself really that well yet. So I literally went on, like, no, I went online and I scoured the internet and I found a producer on Reddit. I was like, oh my God, I want to make music, but I don't know how. And then he gave me this beat and then I made that song and that's who that guy is. Thank you, Ethan. Yeah, thanks, Ethan. Your early days of Pink Pantheris. Kenya. Yes. And I have a gift for you, an Alan Lomax record. Yes, OMG, I love this. And if we open it up here. Okay, so this is the World Library of Folk and pr Primitive Music. And if we open it up, what do we see? <laughs> we see the, oh, Mombasa, Kenya. Safari, yeah, okay, yeah. That's where, okay, see, that's where I thought we were from, but we're actually from Kisumu, because my mom messaged me and she beat my ass because I, I kept getting where we're from wrong. Yeah. And if we open up there, yes. what do we see number 31? It's something possibly you could sample as well. Oh, you're hilarious. Yeah, thank you. You want a producer cut? You got it. Baboom. Baboom. And a vinyl too. So yeah, that's a gift for you. And it's an original. 
That's really, really sweet of you. Thank you so much, sir. From 1955. This is from 1955. That's from 1955. F off. For you and your mom, too, right? Because yeah, yeah. the, the map. Could you say a bit about the map? Because Mombasa. Yeah, right there. Okay, I see it. Yeah, so this is this is t where I thought I was from. I'm not from there, Nardwa. I'm from Kisumu. So I don't know where that is on the map. My map, my map. But I'm part of this tribe, the Luo tribe. That's me. And you are pink? Pantherize. At Sonido? Mmm. <gasps> Del Valle. Del Valle. Ah! Ah! Pink Pantherize, your creative process. Mm -hmm, yeah. One hour? How long does it take to make a song? About one hour. Can you explain, how does that come about? Um, It depends. It goes song by song, but honestly, it just flows out in me like vomit. I love the producer end of Pink Panthers. I learn about so many different bands. The producer what? The producer element of oh, Pink yeah. Panther. I learned about so many bands from what, my sampling? Yeah, from your sampling. Oh, really? Like, I learned about you talking, mm -hmm. a gift for you, some Shy FX. FX. yeah. And we have a white label, Shy FX, for you. How the f you get that? Well, I mean, <laughs> we have to find that for Pink Panther. Shy FX is a legend. Yeah, what can you say about Shy FX? Well, I was saying someone like he was one of the introductions to uh, dance music for me, along with many other people, Adam F being one of them. So this is like the trilogy here. Shy FX, Adam F. I said trilogy, but I actually meant duology. Is, that, is there a version of, of trilogy with just two? Also Sunship and Three of a Kind? And, yeah, exactly, Sunship. What can you see about them? Well, Sunship is the person that produced flowers, and then three of a kind are the people that made baby cakes. As well, I have a magazine mix from 1991 from the UK for you. Yes, Frankie. And, and if we turn, oh, sorry, go ahead. I said yes, Frankie Knuckles. On the cover. And if we turn to the mark there, the anointed page, what do we see at number one? Oh, yes. Crystal Waters Gypsy Woman. It's a classic. You know it. So this is from 1991 Mix Magazine from the UK, possibly some ideas for more samples. What do you think about that? Like going through some of the lists, something possible that you could reach out to and talk to. My sample list doesn't end. It doesn't end, it doesn't end. Interpolation sample, it's, yeah, it's my favorite thing to do. Thank you so much for this magazine. Oh, no problem. I thought like some, the chart might give you some ideas. It already did. Baboom. Or enrich further ideas. Is it hard to find the history of UK music, you know, when you do sampling? When you learn about it, like, where do you learn about it? Like, you teach me Pink Panthers, but where do you learn about it? Where I learn about the British, the history of British music, you are raised in the UK. That's that's the first step and the really the foremost step of it, of, of it all. That's what, that's really how I learned. If I was American, I don't know if I would have ended up making this type of music. But not everybody turns out like you, Pink Panthers. Like other people are in, you know, they love UK music, but you went a certain way. Like, how do you find out even more? YouTube! Oh, what algorithm? Like, if you just. I what is a Pink Panthers search? What is your search history? No, you need to go down some crazy, crazy, crazy playlists. Songs to sleep to, songs to two, songs to everything to. And once you find that, you just need to spend a little bit of time and then you'll find it. You you can find anything on you know this. You can find anything online. I know you I know you do. I love the internet, but I love the tips that you've given. I love the sleep idea. You know what? What's the best music to sleep by? Is it rain sounds? You've just mentioned them, the internet. But particular. Oh, the the internet oh, Babu? Sid. Vinyl. Yes. I'm Flogna. Oh, Sid. Or future. And I have another gift for you, speaking of production, a producer record for you from the 1970s. That's sick. It's a producer, something you could sample. It's like, check out the back, read bold, brassy. Rock, up tempo with jazz, piano, slash medium size orchestra. This is sick. And also Peach Boys flavor as well. Do you say peach or beach? Be beach Is Boys. Peach. Peach. Well, peach is close to pink. You said peach. Peach cobbler, Tyler the Creator's favorite food. And custard tarts, which we eat in the UK. That's M and S. Yeah, M and S. So that's a producer record for you. I thought it, it actually some bed tracks actually you can really sample. Like the other stuff's like songs, but this is like you can actually you know it's really it's all stripped down. You're speaking my you're speaking my language, you know. 
I was a bit afraid because you'd mentioned producing, you don't usually get into that as much. You know, like lately you haven't been doing as much sampling. I haven't been doing as much sampling because I'm a lazy mother. Oscar Scheller. A legend. He's from the UK. He's from West London. No, Martin, his dad, was in Fantopia. Yeah, uh, yeah, and guess what? He wrote Torn by, what's her name? Natalie Imbruglia. Nah. What was like working with him? Oscar, so, so amazing. And if you ever hear him talk, he talks like this. What about Fantopia? What? Fantopia. His, his dad's band? Yeah. I think he showed me uh, his dad's band. The music was good. It was fab. And you are... Pink Pantheress. Also known as At Ponies. Are you talking about my sound card? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, my sound card name. I changed it because um because people were finding me on SoundCloud, so I had to change my URL. Nardwar voice, quote, we need Wait, what did this guy We need to know. We need to know. No, yeah, this is a thing between my we go. You're so my friend. If my friend is like, um, how do you know that? I'll be like, well, you're Edward Clark. We need to know. Yeah, could you explain oh, that? that? Horrible, the wasn't it? We're gonna cut that out. There's a clip floating around the internet. Could you explain that? Like, we need to know that you posted. I did not say it in a clip and post it. It's on video. You and I spice together. We need to know. Oh, no, but I didn't say it in the video. I didn't say we need to know. You posted that as a caption. Caption. Yes, because I needed to know. I need to know. I needed to know her favorite NCT member. Well, I love the idea that you captioned it. Thank yeah. you. I felt so honored that you did that. I, you know, I love you, and you know who else loves you is I'm not from the streets, but the streets love you. We love you. Black what people love you? When did you first hear of me, Pink Panther? You're from England. I'm from Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. All right, I'll admit it. Fine. You know I was obsessed with emo music. And naturally, when I typed in Panic at the Disco interview with Ryan Ross and Brandon Yuri, obviously, you know, came up, all right? Good. Thank you. Yeah, it's okay. Legendary, though, that's my favorite band. Actually, who do we have here from your team? Could you introduce uh, your team now? This is, um, this is... This is my helping hand, Jack. That's Alex's brother. And this is my manager, Jesse and Phoebe. And Phoebe's from Kenya too. And then this is Michael, and he's on my team as well. And we also have... Oh, and, oh, and Zach! Oh my God! Zach's Moroccan. And you also played the Roundhouse in Sydney. Yes! In Sydney, because there's a Roundhouse in England, isn't there? Camden, yeah. What's it like playing in the Roundhouse in Sydney? Fantastic. Someone threw a phone at me, and it hurt. No. Why would they throw a phone and did they get the phone back? I mean, if it hurt you, that's not really... They got the phone back, but honestly, I'm, I, 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 I was planning to take the phones, i.e. steal them. But then I was like, no, because that wouldn't be good, would it? I really wanted to steal it, though. It, you're in your shirt, where did it hit you? It hit me on my, on my shin here. And you can imagine that that would have hurt. It, it did. Also, if it, like, what happened when something like, did you just continue on or? No, you know what I did? I remember I literally it hit me and then I did this. I put down my mic and I was like this. <laughs> and then what happened? I had to, no, I think I said, can you stop throwing phones? And then the crowd was like, yeah, stop throwing phones. And then they threw more. Pimple patches. Yes, Starface. Yeah. You have no pimples, you know. That's very important, isn't it? Pimple patches. How did you get involved with pimple patches? Because I have pimples. I would never know because you have... Clear skin. Tea tree. What's it like, though? Pimple pat. Like, that's an ultimate endorsement, isn't it? Like, you talked about me getting Urban Outfitters. The pimple. That's incredible. Yeah, well, yeah, listen. I, you're, you, you might be saying it with an inch of, of, of sarcasm, but listen to me. It is important to get your skin right. It's important, and I know you know that because your skin's great. Well, we all worship Pharrell. He has the most amazing skin. skin. And he has a skincare brand, Human. Fly. Yeah, okay. Not quite, but- What's okay. a skincare brand like? Have you used it? It, it works. Yeah, it yeah, 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 yeah. Well, yeah, I did. I got some, and it was cool. You know, he has a face wash, which is a powder, and then you lather it, and then you use it on your skin. My nail's broken. You love McDonald's, don't you? The Happy Meals. That was my, that used to be my go-to. Now it's more of like a Big Mac situation. So what did you buy when you got the Happy Meals? I used to get the cheeseburger, I think. What did you used to get? 
I love the McDLT, which is no longer on the menu. What, sorry? It's a terrible, like, environmental type thing where they have, like... DLT? Yes. What's the D for? Um, DLT. So McD? What's the D in McD? Yeah, I would love to know. You since you're wearing, you're wearing Ronald's hat. McD's. Mickey D's. Okay. But you, Pink Panthers, love that. McDonald's Happy Meals. Yeah, I do. Wait, why are you putting so much emphasis? The toys. Oh, yeah, I do. I used to have a, coll- <laughs> I used to have a collection of the toys. I used to set them up on my windowsill when I was about nine. Yeah, they were good back then. Like, the, the toys were great. Because I have a gift for you. McDonald's manager convention record from 1983 from Toronto made by McDonald's for everybody that attended their convention in 83. Oh, wow. You know what? You're so lovely for this, you know. But, like, it makes me wonder why this was even made in the first place. For the convention. They only made it for the convention. So all of these artists made songs for the convention well actually i think actually mcdonald's made it for the convention oh, okay. to hand out to all the attendees okay. like they got it like as a gift this is really sick. and i thought it's kind of cool to move from like happy toys to happy meals to, to happy, happy, happy music vinyls. to happy vinyls and guess what i'm sampling it that would be amazing yeah i will anything else pink panthers to add to the people out there at all no, not at all you covered everything why should people care about Pink Panthers? Why should people care? Um, the, I, I wouldn't give you a definitive answer. I think I'd just say, if you if you want to care, then you should care. But I don't want everyone to care. It's a choice. Well, thanks so much, Pink Panthers. Keep on rocking in a free world and do 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 do. Yeah. Oh, you know, I've got you a gift. Hold on. I got you a gift. I'm giving you one of my bags. I'm going to just leave it here because I carry a bag with me everywhere. So that's your bag.